Happy New Year! Happy New Year, players! What up, players? Warboss Tampa in this mud. Happy New Year. Um, here's my first video of 2012, and so I uh, have for you now a little look at the knoblars that I've painted up, and um, I'm going to take you through one by one and show you what I did with them. So for New Year's, I decided that my New Year's resolution is going to be to try and get a way of of putting up videos where you can actually see me painting and um, I think that'll be really awesome. Take a look at the artwork for Blood in the Badlands while I set these things up on my little turntable. Ta-da! Okay, so these novelars have taken me a little while to paint because I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out what kind of paint scheme I was going to go with and I decided because my ogres are going to be in the red and white of Talipheim I want to go something a little bit different and have these guys dressed in red and yellow which is Talibicland, which I think is the um, province that they're from. Um, and I think the yellow is good. It'll set them apart from, let's see if we can find my champion here, from the, the red and the white. And, um, and be individual. I think if I went with white with these guys, then they would be um, a little bit too similar. So I think red and white for the ogres. They, they're nice, they pop well, and red and yellow for the Noblize is gonna be good. But yeah, for 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 the new year I'm gonna see if I can find out how I can set up enough space or clear enough space away to um, set up a tripod or something where I can actually do some more painting vids and show you what I'm actually doing. Um, this guy actually comes with, if you remember, you might not remember, but he comes with a knife instead of the shield. The shield is one of the extra shields from my skeletons, from my vampire counts, and I decided to switch it up so that this guy actually looks like a knight riding on a horse or one of his steeds. And um, what's funny is that I didn't notice this till I was painting it, but this poor guy is, uh, he has no legs. It looks like his, his, his uh, trousers are like cut off at the bottom and tied around but he when I was painting him I was like where's this guy's feet and then I, I realized when I was painting him up he doesn't have any feet it looks like right around the knees um, he doesn't have any legs past the knees so that's why he the other guy lets him piggyback on on on, um, on his back so it's nice of you it's very nice um, I won't show you all of them but I will try and pick out ones that are memorable here is this guy loading a barrel on his back. The aged wood that I did for the barrel is really simple. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do these guys as quickly as possible, so you're, you'll notice that their details aren't as fine as my ogres. I'm trying to come up with a quick way of painting them for, um, you know, for people who don't really, who would rather take the time to paint their ogres up. And besides, with these guys, they're so small that you don't really see the fine details, like for the teeth and most of them I didn't do eyes just because their eyeballs are so sunken in a little bit of wash will do the trick for you so for for the aged wood a really simple quick step process of doing it is painting the entire thing Calvin Brown then picking out the details like the ropes and denim stone the metal in boat gun silver and then painting the whole thing with washing the whole thing with Devlin mud so that's what I did for that for the for the barrel there and I found that it was a really, really effective way of doing that. Um, let me see if I can find some other stuff. Oh, here. This guy, the model I'm about to show you is what I think is the hardest model to paint in the Ogre Kingdom's range. And the reason why is because there is so much little details and everything is just packed all together on this guy that it's kind of hard to figure out like, oh, okay, what is this? Oh, it's a sword poking out. What is this? It's a rope, okay? Uh, I have to paint this little guy who's wrapped up in here with his head and his, his eye and his, his teeth and his hat. And then there's this, oh, there's this turkey bone with these other bones and oh, you have to go up on the back. There's a skull popping out in hands and all these ropes. So the, the model in the Ogre Kingdom's book has this bag in red. And so I, I kind of followed it, the uh, example Nablar in the book, the Ogre Kingdom's army book, and just painted everything else 
around it. You can check out my blog, warbosstay.blogspot.com, and I'll have all of these models up there. Oops. And um, you can see kind of one by one. I'll show you pictures of, of each of them. Here's another little Noblar wearing a Bretonian man-at-arms hat. I decided not to paint it in the Bretonian colors because um, the red and the blue of Bretonia would not really fit with the red and the yellow of uh, Talapiklend. And as you can see here, the uh, effect I was going for were quartered like the state troopers. Um, so that's what I did there. And I think it turned out pretty well. I'm going to um, continue painting these guys up. They're, they're, they're more of a chore than the, than the ogre bulls that I painted. I think I'll reward myself later by painting some iron guts. Okay, so this guy, for those of you who like to partake of spirits and alcoholic beverages, he's holding a bottle that I tried to paint up like a Budweiser bottle, which uh, for those of you who know what they look like are kind of dark brown. When they're filled with Budweiser, then the amber beer of the liquid kind of makes it have this yellow, yellowy amber color. So um, I decided not to just paint it dark brown, but I, I base coated in scorched brown and I just kind of painted up with various browns and yellows. And I'll put the exact recipe up on my blog spot so you can check it up there if you want to paint some of your bottles. I know a lot of bottles I see on miniatures are painted to look green. Um, and I decided to do something different to have like a brown beer bottle instead. I think it looks a little bit more uh, I don't know. That's a little bit more realistic, I think. Okay, so there is that. Do I have any others that I really want to show you? Um, oh yeah, here, here's the last one I'll show you. This guy's got a knight, a knight's visor, as well as a broken chaos sword and a broken chaos shield. So I tried to paint it like um, a chaos the standard black metal, dark metal chaos warrior with the dark gold on it. So this was a little fun one to paint. I decided to just leave him with red instead of doing yellow. So the key that I found for doing, or not the key, but something that I found that was interesting to do was to not paint them all the same with the quartering. So some of them are red, some of them have the yellow on um, different sides, like these guys have this guy has a red and then yellow, red and then yellow, this guy has yellow and then red. So I think it's good to vary them, change it up, because they're just supposed to be like a little mob, uh, a little undisciplined mob of hangers-on that follow the ogres around. So I think um, painting them up in, in different colors and styles and just having a, a big mob of them rushing across the field is really interesting. So the last guy actually I'm going to show you is this one who's, who's another hanger on. He's got a little chicken leg in his mouth. And um, yeah, so here's this model. He's got like a pie on his back with the knoblar hand sticking out of it. So that's really gross. But um, I think it's funny. It was a fun experiment trying to figure out how to paint pie crust. So the formula that I use for that, if you want to paint a pie crust like this, is that I use denim stone and then I washed with griffin sepia and then I, I lined really which means taking a thin layer a uh, thin amount of wash and then painting in the, the the recesses only rather than the whole surface I lined with Devlin mud so that was a lot of fun painting up all these little bits of food is a lot of fun I, I, I think it's real cute and whimsical and interesting so um, that's a lot of good fun that I'm having there the problem that I'm having with these models are that they're so small and there's so much detail on them. Just look at the amount left that I still have to do for just getting these knoblars done that were included with the battalion set. Um, I really should have painted this guy first, I think, because him I'm actually building up to look like a knight riding, riding a bull with his helmet and the, the bull horns on this guy, but that's alright. Um, I think the guy that I painted was was a good experiment, and um, yeah, so that's really it. I hope you all had a happy new year. I hope you're all doing well. Please follow me, like I said, on my blog spot at warbosstay.blogspot.com. I'm going to try to be posting up pictures there, so to go along with these videos, I'll supplement these 
videos with the, the pictures that I have on my blog spot. And um, you can check out my work in progress and all of my things there. I'm going to be coming out with some more unbookings pretty soon for Vampire Count specific stuff, so I hope you stay tuned for that. And I hope you all are starting your years off with a bang. And I hope you all have a good one. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.